My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and in today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to demonstrate how to work with paragraph styles in Adobe InDesign. So as you get the ball rolling in Adobe InDesign, you're going to want to control the formatting aspects of your document as much as possible. In a previous video, I demonstrated how you could create what's called an object style so that every time you dropped in a diagram or a photograph or something, it always looked and felt the same. In this video, we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing, but with text. So if you go into Adobe InDesign and you click on the text tool over on the left hand side of the screen, and then uh, let's say I want it to fill up the whole page, I'll just click and drag from the top left to the bottom right hand corner of the margins. Now stop and think for a second, what font is going to be used here? Well, if I go up to the A in the top left hand corner of my screen and take a look at the character formatting, it tells me Minion Pro 12 point font. Well, where did that come from? Where did this sort of standard look and feel come from? So go to the top of your screen, click on Window, find the types of windows labeled as styles and we'll see that in here we're talking about paragraph styles. Now the reason we're specifically talking about paragraph styles is because a paragraph style will apply uniformly to an entire paragraph of text. So I'm not talking about character styles where I might go in and select just one word of it. Basically if I type out a paragraph this basic idea is how it's going to control the spacing, the font formatting, etc. So I click on to paragraph styles right here. And as you can see, it opens up the paragraph styles panel and it says that right now my InDesign document has this concept of a basic paragraph. If you double click on basic paragraph, you'll see what it is basic paragraph is supposed to do. So first of all, it's not based on anything else. It just is its own style starting off from scratch. When we hit enter on the keyboard, the next style that we see is also going to be basic paragraph. That's that same style option, which makes sense as we type in paragraph after paragraph after paragraph, we want this basic paragraph style, the standard style to just flow continuously. So if I click on to basic character formats, this is where I can start to get some work done. Uh, for font family, for example, maybe I decide that all my text should be Calibri. And then the sizing of that Calibri font should be maybe 11 point font. And then if I go into advanced character formatting, this is to do with the actual positioning and size relative to the base of the text. Don't really need to mess with that too much. Indents and spacing. You definitely want to take a little bit of time here. You definitely want it left aligned. Um, but then right here for space after, I like to put maybe uh, six points uh, between paragraphs. So space after, a uh, zero pica six points. Uh, let's see, let me keep going down to, oh, hyphenation. I, I don't like hyphenation. I'm just going to uncheck the checkbox for hyphenation here. And I feel pretty good about things. So I click OK. And so now if I go back to that text box and I type with the basic paragraph text, this is Calibri 11 point text. Okay. Let me zoom in a little bit here. What happens though when I want something other than Calibri 11 point text? It's probably a pretty good idea here to invent a new style because odds are good across this document I'll need that style over and over again. So first I click on basic paragraph and then I use the new style button at the bottom of the screen. Looks like a piece of paper with a corner folded over. So you click on that and now you got this thing called paragraph style one. So I'm going to call this Heading one. So I just double clicked on paragraph style one, call it heading one. It should be based off of basic paragraph and then sort of go past that. Now, this is an interesting question. If you've got a heading, then you hit enter on your keyboard. What should happen after the heading? Probably the basic paragraph style. Now I go into basic character formats. Okay, well, at this point, maybe I want Georgia. Maybe I want 24 point font. And maybe I want it bold. Now at this point, I feel good about everything else. So I'll go ahead and click okay. 
And I'll go into my text and I'll say, okay, well, first line, this should be heading for my document. And then I'll click on heading one and notice that it immediately turns it into Georgia, 24 point font, bolded, etc. When I hit enter on my keyboard, watch what happens with the paragraph styles. The next line down goes back to basic paragraph. This is some um, content, more content, more content. And then I get to my next heading, next heading. And at that point, I just come over here to the right hand side, click on heading one, and that becomes my next heading formatting. So you can see how simple and clear it is once I create a couple of paragraph styles to control the formatting for my entire document.